Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Mark Ashby. I am the Grillionaire. In today's episode, I was going to be doing a different cook, but we recently had a musical legend pass away, and I'm making a burger in honor of him called the Margarita Sunset Burger. Let's get started. <laughs> To start out this burger, I had to make a marinade. And it's a margarita marinade with some tequila, margarita mix. We have some Cosmo Q's garlic jalapeno, the sizzling burger rub from Cosmo Q. It also has some garlic, some lime juice, and some honey. We mixed all that together and we put the ground beef in there and we let it sit in the fridge for 30 minutes. Now, if you don't know who we're talking about, Jimmy Buffett passed away. The only thing that I can even say that I have in relation to him is that he went to Auburn for one semester. I went to Auburn as well. He dropped out to pursue music. I can also remember growing up, my dad had this blue Camaro and we would go driving in it. And this is in the mid to early nineties. But then he played Cheeseburger in Paradise. And I thought that was the funniest song because this guy's singing a song about a cheeseburger and we played it on repeat and repeat, but that's back when you had to rewind it. <laughs> Tape. So I've, I dedicated this burger, the recipe in honor of him. This, this recipe will be available on my blog at grillmarkco.com. Click on the menu board blog, it'll be right there. But if you look right here, this is the marinade that we have going on. Now, I have a few concerns about this already from the get-go. We've got our ultimate burger press here. We're gonna spray it with a little bit of coconut oil because we're trying to keep that island theme gun then we're gonna take our burger meat and mold it into the mold form it into the mold press it into the mold once you have the burger or the patty formed inside the mold you got to get it out so come down low here let's uh let's see how the, uh, like i said i have some concerns about this so i'm not quite sure how this is going to turn out but here we go yeah it's just falling apart. As great as the Ultimate Burger Press is, we are gonna have to just form this by hand and pray to the margarita gods that it stays together. Sometimes in my mind, these recipes sound really good and then, you know, we have to form it by hand. I am praying to every Margaritaville God and Jimmy Buffett himself that he watches over. All right, follow me over here. We're gonna. Open up the silverback, which is running at 375 degrees. You can see I've got a griddle here, and this is going to prevent it from falling through the cracks a little bit. Uh, here goes up. All right. We're going to let that sit and cook for a few minutes before we flip it. Hopefully it all binds together. I'm not feeling too confident about this burger yet, but we'll see how it turns out. Margarita Sunset Burger. We'll see. Well, what started as a genuine and thoughtful tribute to the late Jimmy Buffett, I'm not quite sure how this burger is going, but we press on, we show our failures and victories on this channel. Let's take a look. So the burger's still in patty form right now, which is good, but uh, it's still pretty soft. I, I don't know, let's, let's see. I'll take that, <laughs> that's a win here. We flipped it, we're gonna let it cook a little bit more, come up to temperature. I've got some Swiss cheese right here that we're gonna put on it as well and let it melt on there. We're gonna toast the buns. We got a lot of stuff going for this burger. Those buns should be done toasting. Let's take a look. Perfect, grill marks, son of a gun. Ooh, that's hot. Don't be dumb like me, but you can see perfect grill marks. My hands are shaking, holy. Woo! This burger's looking good, and these are a great sign for a good burger. If I remember the lyrics correctly, he said something like, I like mine with lettuce and tomato, Heinz 57, and french fried potatoes. So, I don't have any french fried potatoes here. I'm on a weight loss journey. Gotta watch that. But we got lettuce. We got heirloom tomato. So, we're gonna start building this up while the burger is almost done. We've got some Wickles pickles here. And now we're gonna wait 
for the burger patty, and then we're gonna top it with bacon, avocado, and our margarita aioli that we made. I think the burger's done. We open it up. We see a patty's still there. Lots of juices. Follow this right down here. Patty on the bun. Looking good so far. We take some crispy bacon that we crisped up earlier. We got two strips of that. And we are going to just place that there. And that's full, so give yourself a little snack. We're gonna top it with some fresh avocado. And the coup de gras is a margarita aioli, which is just mayo, the margarita mix, salt and pepper. And we're gonna just pour that over it. Get a nice bit of it on there. Follow me down here. We got the crown jewel on our margarita sunset burger. This looks fantastic. Let's hope when we cut into it, it stays together. Now it's time to dive in. You know we gotta try it. <laughs> Didn't quite hold up on one side. But there you go, there's the cross section. Looks good. Mm. It's dirty, but it's good. This burger may not have been exactly what I anticipated it to be in my mind with the recipe, but it came out delicious and flavorful. Maybe don't make the marinade uh, or do, it's totally up to you, or find a way to infuse margarita mix and tequila into maybe the aioli that you were using, something else. But overall, I would give this like a nine out of 10. This is a great burger. I feel it honored Jimmy well and his music and his laid back lifestyle. Until next time, keep those grills fired up so the flavor doesn't go down. We'll see you next time.